Welcome, let's discuss Cavalier's principle. We are going to consider two identical prisms. Notice that they both share the same height. Notice that they both have the same base and they will have the same volume. And in addition, notice that when we move this blue plane, the intersection that we have on the prism on the left, it is the same as the intersection that we have on the prism on the right. They have the same intersection with the same height they both have the same volume. But what would happen if we change the shape of one of those solids? Let's make the left prism a little bit slanted. Do they still have the same volume? Notice that we have not changed the height. And when we consider this plane, notice that the intersection on the solid on the left, even though it is slanted, it is still the same with the intersections on the solid on the right throughout the whole height of both persons. Therefore, they still have the same volume. But why do we change the shape a little bit more? Let's make it have some kind of a curvature to it. Do both prisms still have the same volume? They do, even though the shape of the prism has changed on the left. When we consider the plane from the bottom all the way to the top, the intersection that we have on the left will always be equal to the intersection that we have on the right. They both have the same height, the same intersection all over the place. They will have the same volume. What we have shown is that the volume that we have for a prism that is completely straight, it is identical to the volume that we have even if the figure was slanted and the volume will not change even if we change the shape of the figure. Another way to visualize this is to cut the prism into smaller pieces and notice the pieces on the figure on the left. If we start transfer them to the figure on the right, we can create the prism that is completely straight and we have shown that they have the same volume. And it does not matter what's the shape on the figure. Let's make it slanted. The same idea applies. If we cut the prism on the right into smaller pieces, notice that we can transfer them over to the figure, even if it's slanted. Demonstrating that they have the same bond. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's consider these two cylinders. One cylinder that is straight, we call that a right cylinder. And a cylinder that is a little bit slanted. Let's find the volume for each of those cylinders. And remember that for the volume, it is the area of the base times the height. So within our base, we have a radius of 5. So therefore the area is pi 5 squared. And for the height, that is equivalent to 8. 5 to the second, that's 25. And 25 times 8, that's 200. So we have a total of 200 pi. So now if we find the volume of the slanted cylinder on the right, we should obtain the same value. Because notice that in the base, there are both circles with the radius of 5. So we're going to get 25 pi as well. And for the height, they both have the same value of 8 centimeters, which is going to give it the same result of 200 pi. Confirming what we said previously as Cavalier's principle, regardless if you figure it's completely straight or if you figure it's a little bit slanted, their volume is still going to be the same. Let's look at one more scenario. So here we have two prisms. But notice that they do not have the same base. On the figure on the left, the base is a rectangle, and the figure in the right, the base, it's a triangle. But one thing to notice is that both of those figures, they share the same height, the height of 10 centimeters. Now let's see what happens when we find the volume of each of them individually. It is the area of the base times the height. So in the prism on the right, because we have a square, then to find the area, we got to multiply base times height, which is 3 times 2. 
and we have already said that the height is of 10 centimeters, which is going to give us a total of 60 centimeters cubed. Now, in the prism on the right, to find the area of this base is to find the area of the triangle, which we know is 1 half times the base, which we can see it as 3, times the height, which we can see it as 4. And the height is also 10, which is equivalent to 6 times 10, which is 60 centimeters cubed. Notice that both figures, they have the same volume, but why did that happen? Well, notice that also those two same figures, they have the same area on the base. This triangular base was equivalent to 6 centimeters square, and this rectangular base also had a value of 6 centimeters square. But regardless of what kind of a figure it is, if you have two prisms and they share the same area of the base and they share the same height, then we can conclude that those two figures have the same volume. Which is an extension of Cavalieri's principle. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 